Welcome to Prophecy Insights with Bro Steph. Today is April 16th, 2016, and the title of today's report is America Has Lost Her Way. I want to talk to you about this temple arch of Baal that was going to be erected. There was a lot of news and a lot of discussion uh, over the last 10 days about this, and I wanted to let some of the dust settle and then just think through uh, what this might mean to us as a nation and uh, how the Lord may be looking at this. If you read Judges chapter 10, verses 6 through 16, you'll get an idea of what God thinks about Baal and the gods of Astroth and, and others. And uh, in Judges 10, 6 through 16, we see that the Lord was going to send the enemies of Israel against her to buffet her for her worshiping demonic gods. And The gods that belonged to that group of people were the people that were going to be brought against Israel. Interesting that the Baal God is has it finds its roots in Syria. And that's where ISIS uh, is located and really has its roots in Syria. Could we possibly be seeing, because of the desire of some to want to bring the archway of Baal, even though it's a replica, to New York, could God's anger have been kindled against America, and could we be seeing a forthcoming on the horizon attack from ISIS because of this? Remember, God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And um, he doesn't change. So what angered him in the Old Testament will anger him today, meaning um, the leadership in America is systematically closing the door on God and opening the door to pagan gods. That will not bode well for America. And I I believe, like others do, that it's very difficult. You have to really torture Scripture to find America in Bible prophecy. It's just very difficult to find the United States of America in Bible prophecy. And we very well could be on the eve of the diminishment of America in the world. We're diminished already, but further diminishment of America to the point that we're of no consequence around the world anymore. I believe that's happening. And mysteriously, just a footnote, this Baal arch was stopped mysteriously. And I find that to be very interesting. We don't know what happened behind the scenes to stop the Baal arches from being resurrected in New York. We don't know what happened. We don't know the full story. We may never find out. Also, a good scripture to read is Jeremiah 7, 16. Um, And I would encourage you to do so when you get some time. Jeremiah 7, 16 which states there comes a time when God says, don't pray for a nation or don't pray for a group of people. And that's what the Lord told Jeremiah, to stop praying for Israel and to stop praying for his people. That's a scary thing when you think about it. Could America have crossed the line to the extent that the Lord would say to us, I'm going to judge America, and I don't want you to pray for her any longer. That's a... I I don't know what to say about that. 
that's a a very very serious thought um but i wanted to talk about this um you know baal uh as you read scripture you can uh uh do a word search on baal and study out what baal worship was and baal was a statue uh typically it's it was on fire the the arms and underneath Baal was on fire, and the bronze arms were fired up to an enormously hot heat. And the babies, infants, would be taken and dropped into the arms of Baal, and the babies would be sacrificed, thinking that would appease the god Baal, which is extremely demonic. And I don't want to get into the abortion issue, but in a matter of speaking, when a nation or group of people destroy its infants, that harkens back to what the, ch- what the children of Israel did with their babies, throwing babies into the arms of Baal. Very serious matters, very serious thing. And so it wouldn't surprise me at all that we would see an attack from ISIS as a judgment from God against the land of America for contemplating bringing those arches, even a replica of it, to the United States of America. What it says to me is that God does not reign supreme in America in the hearts of the leadership of this country. And that the hearts of the leadership in America are looking for other gods to lead them. And we all know in Scripture what happens. God will turn you over to the gods of wood, hay, and stubble that you think can help you. And then the Lord will look at you one day and say, why don't you call on your gods to help you? And why are they not helping you? Because they don't exist. They're deceptions of your mind and heart. That being said, I'm going to wrap up this uh, report. And I would like to encourage you, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, now is the time. The window of opportunity, the door is shutting, the windows start to close. Now's the time to ask Christ into your life and into your heart, and to dedicate yourself to them. Go to my website, brosteph, brosteph.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, How to Accept the Lord. Read the Roman Road. Watch the two videos there. And I hope and I pray that you ask the Lord Jesus Christ into your life today. If you need any help, uh, have any questions, want to chat with me, uh, just uh, contact me from brostuff.com, email me, and uh, I answer all emails within 24 hours. This is Bro Stuff. I'll talk to you again real soon on another report. Please keep looking up because Jesus is coming back soon. And remember, live out your faith. Bye for now. God bless.